Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys everything you need to know about the hot girl who is a horse So you cannot really decide whether she's hot or not, but she's still hot All right, so Lilia is a very very simple champion, but she has some tricks up her sleeve So I'm gonna tell you guys how to uh, use her abilities explain everything you need to know about her abilities how to combo her abilities how to build Lilia and All of that everything what runes to use and all of that. So there's timestamps in the description if you want to skip around Let's get into it Lilia's passive. It says a lot, but I'm gonna make it simple for you. Whenever you hit an ability on the enemy champion, any ability, first ability, second ability, any ability whatsoever, it will do bonus damage. Basically like brand, brand's burning. It will essentially burn the enemies for three seconds, dealing damage based on their maximum HP. You can see it right here. This skills the higher level you are. Right now I'm level 15, that is why it's 6%. Earlier on, it's not gonna be as much as this. So over three seconds, you're gonna be doing bonus damage. You're also going to be healing up a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, and you heal up in the jungle as well. Essentially, when you hit jungle monsters, you know, your passive is going to deal bonus damage to them, as you can see. You know, the 24 and the 8, this is bonus damage, but I'm also healing up. As you can see, if you actually look at my health, I will heal up. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to quickly take damage from a third, just to clearly show you how this passive truly works. I have no items whatsoever, uh, as you can see, no items at all. So I'm just quickly going to take some damage from the third just to show you the healing, right? So as you can see, if I take jungle camps, boom, I damage the jungle camp and I'm healing up. It is not a lot of healing at all because I have no items. But if you actually look carefully, I am definitely healing. I am definitely healing over time. So if I'm attacking this, I am healing up. If I attack an enemy champion, I will heal up much, much more. You can clearly see it's showing how much I'm healing. And when you hit an enemy champion with another ability... It doesn't like stack the bonus, it just refreshes it. It refreshes the 3 seconds, so you're constantly going to be doing, you know, the 6% magic damage over 3 seconds. And the healing gets refreshed as well. If you hit multiple enemies, the healing only is 33% effective. So on enemy 1, you're going to be healing 100%, but on multiple enemies, you're not going to be healing as much. So don't be thinking like, you can just dive on 5 enemies at the same time and just heal up like crazy. You are going to heal up a lot. But you know, you're not going to be healing up 500%. Instead, you're going to be healing up 100% plus 4 times 33%. So it's going to be 233% healing instead of, you know, the 500. So just, just to keep that in mind. That is how our passive works. Just a small little thing as well, by the way. Um, it, even though it looks like I'm a melee champion, Lilia is actually ranged. Which means if for some very weird reason you decide to go for full AD Lilia or like, I don't know, Sterics Gauge. Sterics Cage won't work on Lilia. Rapid Fire Cannon will work on Lilia. And everything else, all the defensive items, um, basically you get the bonuses from being a ranged champion. So also Conqueror. You get less bonuses from Conqueror because you are a ranged champion. Now let's talk about the first ability. Again, it says a lot, but essentially it's like Darius' first ability, but a little different. Let's just read through it very quickly. Passive. Lilia, so any ability Lilia uses grants her bonus movement speed for six seconds and this can stack up to four times let me quickly show you what it is so when i'm hitting this champion boom you can see right here this this one is the one so if i hit another ability it goes to two if i had another ability it goes to three if i had another ability it goes to four and as you can see i can refresh and i'm incredibly fast now you see how fast i am if i hit an enemy it gets refreshed i will give you tips and tricks about this later on because it's very important to maintain these things but yeah later on now about the active of the first ability. Lilia whirl whirls her sensor doing damage, plus an additional true damage at the outer edge, just like Darius' first ability. As you can see, if I hit like this, it does a little bit of damage, but if I hit like this, boom, it does a lot of damage. As you can see, it does, um, right now because of the Conqueror, it's 103, it does 95 damage, but clearly it's only doing 48 damage. Why? Because the dummy has magic resist. That is why it's super important to hit the enemy on the outer half. Because not only are you going to deal that, you know, the, the magic damage you were going to deal anyways, you're going to deal the true damage as well on top. You're essentially going to do like, depending on how much shield the enemy has, two or even three times more damage. Maybe even four times more damage if the enemy really has a lot of shielding. So incredibly important to hit this one on the outer half. Um, a quick thing about this ability. If you move, as you can see, it, um, you can use it here. If you're moving this way, you can actually use it a little bit earlier because the first ability moves with you with you for a very brief second. If you just quickly look, it moves with you. So I'm clicking on it here, 
but it moves with me just a itty weeny bit. So I can actually hit him, hit them on the outer half, even though I activate it on the inner half. This also means if I'm chasing an enemy, I can actually hit them. Uh, you have to be very precise with it. Like, very, very precise. I'm not even doing it precisely. Here you can see it. So I actually activated it here, but I hit it here, if you know what I'm meaning. So, like, you can chase the enemy and hit it like that. You can also hit it with the flash, but again, about the combos are going to be coming later on in the video. This ability deals a lot more damage to monsters, by the way. As you can see, 130%, so you can clear jungles very fast with it. Now the second ability, Lilia winds up a huge strike dealing 180 magic damage and enemies hit in the center take double damage, double damage. So um, you may be thinking, yeah, but that's easy to hit them in the center. No, you see that itty weeny little circle? That is the center. As you can see, if I hit them here, that's not the center. This is the center. I actually hit them in, I actually did hit the dummy in the center, but this is not the center. This is the center. As you can see, it does double damage. You don't exactly have to hit them in the center. If, as long as you just hit them in like the outer half of the center, just an any weeny bit, it's gonna hit. But it's not an easy ability to hit for free. It's definitely not. So again, that's why combos are very important. Like if this enemy is CC'd, boom, it's gonna be easy to hit, right? Like that's the point of this ability. This ability is a dash, as you can see. Like it is dashing and it makes you faster. Like if you can use it while, while walking, it actually makes you just a little bit faster. So just so you know. But an important thing to know, this ability does not dash over walls. As you can see, I can hit over the wall, but it won't dash me over a wall. Like, even around the corners, it, it just won't dash you over the wall. You can also not combo this with a flash, by the way. It just doesn't work. Your flash will become unavailable when you use this ability. Now the third ability. Lilia, Lilia lops a swirl seat. I'm not gonna read it. You throw balls at the enemies. These balls slow the enemies, and these balls do not get slowed unless they hit something. Let me show you. This is the ball. Boom. You see that? It got stopped by the scuttle crap right here. Now it's going to the wall. You hit an enemy with it. Of course, it applies your passive on the enemy and it slows the enemy. An interesting thing about this ball is, as I said, it doesn't stop. You can actually look at the map. If you look at the map right now, you can see the line. And you can clearly see when I'm going to collide. Here you can see, if I hit it like this, I will collide with an enemy. So I'm going to throw the ball and we're going to follow my balls. That sounds really weird. But here, boom, you see? So don't make it hard for yourself. Look on the map before you throw the ball. Look, you can clearly see where you're going to collide. If I can just wait, let me just move myself here. You can, you can clearly see. So if I do it here, you can see those swords. You see those swords? It shows you exactly where it's going to collide. So you won't make any mistakes. Interesting thing about this. The cable just got disconnected. What the hell? Why did the cable just got disconnected? I'm going to show you guys a very interesting thing about this. If the cable can just reconnect real quick. Hello? Cable. I'm using an old cable because I was streaming and this cable is a little bit worse than the other cable. But yeah, what I wanted to show you is if you get back home, you can actually throw your third ability to gank a lane. Believe it or not, look, you can look on the map and like this, boom, I can click on it. Look, it's going to move all the way to the middle of the lane and you could hit an enemy champion same goes for bot lane and the way that you can easily hit this is by walking a little bit to the left of this turret and you can easily throw it anywhere you want in the bot lane same goes for the top lane just walk a little bit to the right of the turret and you can very easily throw it in the middle of the top lane yes and in the mid lane it's a little bit tricky because the first turret is a little bit on the right Sorry, the first turret is in the middle, the second turret is on the right, and the third turret is on the left. So you have to, you know, you have to puzzle with it a little bit. You like, you have to, yeah, you have to puzzle with it. You can see it's definitely not easy to hit, but here you go. You can hit it like this. It's really not handy in the mid lane, but there you go. You see, you can do it like this. It's much easier in the side lanes. Like here, you know, you'll throw it in the middle, and that's what you can do. So that is the third ability. Now let's talk about the ultimate, because the ultimate is very, very interesting. So I remember when I told you, as long as you hit an enemy champion with any ability, they, you know, you put a stack on them. Let me actually put down more dummies here. Um, you can put, you put a stack on all of them. Your ultimate, let's quickly read through it. Lilia causes all enemy champions with Dream Dust, Dream Dust is her passive, to become drowsy for 1.5 seconds. Afterwards, they fall asleep for 2.5 seconds. At level 1, it's 2 seconds, but at level 3, uh, it's 2.5 seconds. When awakened by damage, they take bonus damage. If they wake up with no damage, they don't take any bonus damage at all. Um, 
Drowsy units are slowed. So when you know, I'm gonna show you guys. Boom! Now she's drowsy and she's slowed while she's drowsy, as you can see. And then she falls asleep. Interestingly, the ultimate does no damage. It just puts them asleep. It makes them drowsy and puts them asleep. Um so as I said, when they're asleep and you actually damage them, when they're asleep, that's when they take the damage. It's not necessarily has it doesn't necessarily have to be you that damages them. If any allied champion damages the damages the enemy while they're asleep, they will take the bonus damage. Um so you may be thinking, can I really only do this to enemies that are close? Like, look, I can make all four of them fall asleep. And then I can damage all four of them to do massive damage. But the answer is no. You can make anyone fall asleep. And we're going to show it right here. Oh, the stupid scuttle crab buddy blocked it. We're going to show you right here what I mean. I'm going to hit this guy right here. And I can ult all the way across the map and make the dummy fall asleep. Now, you may be thinking... But hell, doesn't this mean I can just gank across the map? Can I not just gank the bot lane from the mid lane? Yes, that's true. You can do exactly that. You can throw your balls to the bot lane just like this. I, I missed the dummy on purpose, by the way. I hit the bot lane enemy and I make them drowsy and they fall asleep. You can gank from anywhere across the map with this champion, guys. So now let's talk about some combos with Lydia. It's not very complicated. First of all, First ability and flash. So you can use your first ability and boom, flash to the enemy. This is a really powerful combo. If you're entering this fight, for example, boom, as you can see, I hit all of them. Another good combo is to get stasis with uh, Lilia. First ability, flash and stasis. Essentially, you're going in and you're using your first ability doing massive damage because in the late game, it does a lot of damage. Keep in mind, I have no magic damage items right now and just stasis. If you have a little bit more time, this is the combo you want to do. First ability, flash, alt, stasis. Let me show you. Boom. I actually only hit three enemies here. Let me try to hit four enemies this time. So you enter the fight. Boom. Actually, three enemies again. But I, I, you want to hit as many enemies as possible, just like this. Then alt, and then stasis. Now let me do it a little bit faster. Because obviously you can do this much faster. Boom, and boom. There you go. I actually also used my second ability there. But yeah, let me show you one more time. First ability, flash, hold, stasis. You have to be very fast with your fingers with this. Just like that. And you can see you'll use the stasis while you have the flowers in the air. You cannot actually use your stasis while you're using second ability. It only procs after your second ability. I've tried that too, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So, um, as I said, you cannot jump over walls. And honestly, like... There's really not many. There's really not many combos. One more all-in combo that I read that I have for you guys is like in a one v one. For example, I'm against this dummy. First ability, ultimate, make them fall asleep and wake them up with your boom second ability. The reason that this works is because when they're asleep, of course they're not moving, so you can hit your second ability for free. We're, like trust me, you're not gonna hit this one easily if the enemy is not stunned. So the one way you can actually put the enemies to sleep, right? First ability, ultimate. When they're asleep with the boom second ability. Believe it or not, those are really the main combos of this champion. You know, of course, you can also do it with your third ability. Boom. Make him fall asleep. And then use your second ability when they're asleep. And then first ability. Another combo that you're probably never going to use but is possible is you can actually combo flash with your third ability. If I put the ball here and I flash here, it's actually going to throw the ball backwards. Let me show you. Boom. You see? So, probably never going to use it like... You're, you can change the direction of your ball is what I'm trying to say. So if you want to throw the ball from here to the left, you can do it like... Oops, I actually missed it. You can do it... I missed it again. I missed it again. There you go. It's it's like, again, it doesn't make any sense. Like, this, this combo doesn't make any sense. But it exists, so I'm telling you guys about it, right? Like, I don't know why it exists, but I'm telling you guys about it. There is no more combos with this champion. So let's get to the build part of this video. By the way, guys, make sure you give this video a like. This video can reach, like, let's say, a thousand likes. I'll post a Lilia gameplay video, because why the hell not, right? So let me show you how to build Lilia. Keep in mind, Lilia just came out, so builds are probably going to be changing. This is, in my opinion, you know, right now going to be a good build on this champion. Obviously, it's going to evolve. So, Road of Ages is 
Uh, probably gonna be a very very good build. You could also go for Luden's Echo, but I would I think I would prefer Rod of Ages for the tankiness on this champion. Second item, a full-on Rabadon's Death Cap. She has pretty decent scaling, so Rabadon's Death Cap is gonna be a great item to go for. Rylai Scepter is a phenomenal item because the slows that you're gonna be able to do, you do so much AoE damage. So, so to have a Rylai Scepter is gonna be incredibly powerful. Void Staff for the damage, and then as your last item, Leandris, because you're burning the enemies already. So the Leandris is going to be refreshed for 3 seconds for free. You could also perhaps skip on the Rabbitohs Death Cap and go for a Riftmaker, right? Riftmaker is also going to be a great item on um, this champion. The reason that I haven't incorporated it in the main build is because she already does true damage. I, 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 like, we'll see. We'll see how it evolves. For now, you can go for this build, and it's going to be fine. For the boots, you want to go for Ionia Boots of Lucidity. Or plated steel caps or mercuses, whatever you need, right? For the enchantments, pretty much always stasis. Pretty much always stasis. Like, always. Just go for stasis, trust. And for the runes, you want to go for conqueror, hunter vampirism. Um, you could go for giant slayer here as well, if the enemy, you know, is giant. And wait, they didn't. They I thought they changed the runes. They didn't update. Oh, I think the update is gonna come out a little later. But yeah, they're changing up stuff. Third rune is completely situational, whatever you need. And fourth one is going to be a Hunter Genius, because you want that ability haste. So yeah, that is it for the guide, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see. Wait, I do this here. You go, and you all in the next Valdiv video. Bye-bye.